All right, we're all good? <laughs> she always wears her inappropriate clothing. I think it's inappropriate. Well, I mean, think about it. In today's day and age, every girl wears tight, tight pants. Like, how tight can we get them? And those are tight, tight pants. I know we're in our house, but... All I own. I know, tight, but some of them are, like, more tight than others. Well, that's because I'm up in weight, so they go up my butt. Well, <laughs> that means you get bigger pants. What's in my cabinet? <sighs> Very boring stuff. I got uh, a bunch of these. My buddy started this company, uh, Rice and Grinds. It's like flavored cream of rice, and it really doesn't have much bad stuff in it at all. It doesn't really have anything. Four grams of sugar out of 40 carbs. As a bodybuilder, you're not gonna die if that happens. Regular old school cream of rice. I got, I'm into all this stuff, these like foods that like you don't really expire. They're like uh, foods that last a long time. I eat all my carbs from rice cakes now. These are Lundberg rice cakes. They're 15 grams of carbs per cake. I eat three cake, two cakes per meal. I mean, I like the crunch. They're a little heartier than the regular rice cakes. So the regular rice cakes taste like you're eating air. So these are ones that I prefer. Turmeric, we got curry powder up in here, cinnamon. We get a lot of, uh, I, I don't really do many of like these types of spices anymore. I don't actually ever. Um, I don't do anything like with dried garlic or onion in it. What do we got in the fridge? All right, we'll start uh, this side. We got some uh, Grey Poupon. Obviously there's butter in here for whatever we might need butter for whatever reason. Pure cranberry, pure beet juice, my ketchup. I love Teddy's peanut butter. My bone broth. My wife's got these low calorie salad dressings in here. We have some random bullshit in here. Like my mom left this over here for holiday. I don't eat whipped cream. We got blueberries. Wyman's blueberries, these are my favorite. Tastes good. More stockpile of bread. Bison in there. From my buddy Chris Frazier. Smart classic straight cut fries. As I buy the rice cakes, I just buy them in stocks, it's cheaper. Good old ice away cookies and cream. That's become my staple now. I've been kind of weaning off the vanilla. Not that I don't like the vanilla. Still haven't tried the, tried the strawberry shake yet. I'll get there. Once you get stuck to, once you get stuck to one protein powder, I like to stay with it. They say, you know, mushrooms are very anti-inflammatory, very good food, high in selenium. Um, but they say the anti-inflammatory effects of mushrooms kind of diminish if you cook them thoroughly, or at least one study or a couple of studies have shown that. Not that I really follow suit too much with that, to be honest, but I do cook them. I do love them in my eggs. I do love them in my beef, but I do not like them raw. So this is mine, this is my wife's. So when I, I put my egg whites on the scale like this, <clears throat> gram setting, zero it. So when I pull it off and I dump the egg whites and I put it back, it tells me how many egg whites I used. My wife doesn't like it like an omelet style. She likes it like scrambled and uh, not to brown the eggs. So I gotta turn that down like I already did. I learned it over time to get it right. Not that she's a stickler about it, but you know, when you make somebody something, you want to make it how they like it. So I know she doesn't forget, she doesn't remember everything, so I try to remind her. <laughs> so when I remind her, I get two responses. One, I know, I heard you the first time. Or the other response is, oh, shit, I'll do it right now. <laughs> but there's never any in between. So I never know when to say something or not. No. But I take my chances. You could email me. If you email me, I'll get it done. Then I'll... <laughs> or you just ignore me, you're like, I know, delete. That's true. So post-workout is my uh, cream of rice, flavored cream of rice, the peanut butter. I like the brown sugar one better when I ran out of it, but this will do. I do 60 grams of carbs post-workout at this current time. Kind of just maintaining, not, in, not trying to gain, not trying to lose at this point. I will start cutting uh, mid-May. I measure everything. 
This is my intra, my current intra. Scoop of grape juice aminos, a little universal protein, a little less than a teaspoon. I do put salt in it, which is not shown. A little bit of salt. Put in a half scoop of Carbo Plus at this point in time. That's my intra. I'll drink this post with the cream of rice and the apple. Just gotta put some water in it. Yes, and that's cinnamon. I'm obsessed with cinnamon. And then the hot cream of rice, I'll put the apples in and the apples kinda get soft. So when post-workout comes around, the cream of rice is cooled and the apples have become a little soft. Believe it or not, in the off season, I'll use less carb max, like as in I'm trying to like build. And then when I'm in prep, I mean when I'm prep or I'm dieting, trying to get leaner, I'll actually use a little bit more because the rest of the carbs in my day are much less. So it's more uh, needed to have carbs intro when your body's already low. When you're eating sufficient calories all day long and your glycogen stores are loaded, really the intra workout's not gonna do as much as you think it is in the off season. So I just put a little bit in there. And boom, lid, and put this in the side. I'll do a little emails now while this cools, and then till we head out to the gym.